little intricacies in terms of forming your families. All right, so here's where we spend most of our time. So I apologize, it's 300 years. That's how long before you do the final battle. Very, very tough. So now we need to start planning. So let's, uh, I think we have to visit the capital. So the first thing they want to ask you is what do you want to do? Do you want to, what kind of research do you want to do? Do you want to build a new keep? Uh, do you want to build a sage rights uh, uh, guild? Or do you want to build a crucible? Crucible. So basically a keep is basically a house. This is where you could put families in and allow them to have children, to train, to do a lot of different things. Sage rights guilds do a lot of research. So basically you put a lot of your veterans that you don't want to fight anymore into basically sage rights guilds. And they learn new researches, new techniques, new armors, things like that. And I think Crucible, I'm not sure what Crucible is. I think Crucible has to do with the um, the fighting area. So it allows you to build uh, stronger soldiers. Uh, so typically what we usually do is you want to typically build a new keep first. Um, so you can get, you can start making babies basically. You want to make sure that you're... Um, your soldiers are fed. Not in terms of food, but in terms of having more soldiers. And the lineage continues. So we're going to do a keep. So we get to choose an area where we want to go. And each area has, it'll tell you, it has special buildings. Like for this one, reduce construction time. All heroes get plus uh, kill XP and then all hunters here get higher dexterity so we're gonna probably go with this one and we're gonna probably yep we're gonna make some warrior babies and make sure that they're uh, hunters so we're gonna put our hunters there for higher dexterity so it'll be five years before we can get to that so we're gonna go in a little we're gonna go in and take another research see what we could do so you have armors based on classes which armors do you want to research as you can see it's about 12 years that's a long time um, from what I remember you can only have one research at a time so um, we can't do that just yet unless we cancel the other thing uh, this allows us to um, advance our weapons different equipable items heroes so let's say you get to a point where basically your lineage lineages are dying out for your families or you have basically families that can't produce kids you have too many ma females and you have no males or you have females and all your males simply just can't produce they're sterile which does happen um, this will allow you to adopt baby boys that you could hopefully raise in maybe 10 20 years to then become you know head of those households uh this is to find new discovery of new heroes if you need another hero so you don't want to start with a baby you want to start directly with a hero and these this right here is basically everything that we completed so we've already started a new research lab it's going to be a keep so uh and this is just more info as to what a keep does increases with each construction so what we're going to do now is actually before we do that I'm sorry to go back into it we're going to go here and we're going to look at our heroes real quick so this guy is 33 he's in his prime age um, in terms of fighting he um, has to trade a bear strength, so he gives a lot of his babies bear strength, but he's very sickly, so their HP is going to be decreased. So you gotta keep those things in mind.
Uh, true hit chance, he's optimistic. True hit chance is prob uh, probably lower than predicted. And then stalwarts, hero's defense bearing increases armor effectiveness. So, I mean, it's good. So he has high defense with low HP. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose... We need to figure out who we want to put in real quick. What kind of babies we want to make. Who we want to make head of households. Uh, typically for me, I usually try to go with old, with younger. Um, so somebody like him, I'll probably keep him war. I will not put him as the head of a household just yet. So this allows me just to carry an extra item. We'll do that. Oh no, that's right. I got to do free throw first. Then we can choose. All right, so that's done. We have Jennifer Betts. Let's see what she has. All right, so. And more. Let's uh, get theirs. All right, cool. So let's start. Uh, let's let's start making babies now. Well, let's choose a household. This is under construction, so we can't put anything there. But we can put somebody here. So real quick, does this house give us anything? No, it doesn't. All right. Oh yeah, the system is it's, it's pretty deep. I love the way this game works. So typically you don't want to put two people at the same house um, as a husband and wife because that will create defects <laughs> for um, a lot of your kids. But the problem is too, when you start mixing and breeding, after a while, some people are distant co cousins of others. So you you will run into that issue where it's harder to mix breeds so we have a hunter we don't want to use him yet he'll probably be 30 uh wow all of our hunters are old oh no 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 we have alma so we'll probably use alma wow alma is nearsighted that really sucks do i really want my rangers to have that So, so for our first house, I think we're going to go by class. I want to see what we have. We have two alchemists, two cabers, lots of hunters. All right, so we're good on hunters. Who do we want as head? Um, so he's infertile, so it's no point in putting him. Low fertility, so we don't want that person. They're hunters. I think. I think. Average fertility, so it's a female. Hmm. So here's another. Here comes another problem. So, if you put in males, then the only thing you have to do is put in a female, a younger female. And even though a male is older, he can still produce children. But if you put a female as the head of the household, she will get to an age where she can't have children. So, no matter how many males you have, you can therefore, you won't have any children from that household. But you can replace her with a younger daughter but then you have a guy who's basically sleeping with his kids which is kind of dirty <laughs> which is really messed up when you think about it you got a guy who's sleeping basically with his daughter you know or niece you know it gets kind of creepy but uh i guess that's what they did back in those days so i i, I guess it's acceptable you can't view it with today's views you know you have to look at it with a uh, different view so if we were to put dementia wow her name is dementia does she have dementia 
No, she has increased intelligence. She's very brainy. Alright. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put... We're going to put Dementia. She's young. Vanguard, basically, for any of those who are asking, just means that they're experienced. I know. So we're going to put her into the household with the Laker colors. So now we need to give her a partner. Now, you can give her a female partner, but of course, no babies will be made. So you want to make sure you give her somebody, a male partner or something to that extent. So if you give her a hunter, she's a caberjack, so it doesn't make sense. I would, If she was an alchemist, I would give her a hunter because ha alchemists throw flasks. So a hunter with a higher dexterity will help with throwing flask. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to probably mix her with an alchemist. So we're going to probably mix her with... Let's see what Zaman has. He has bare strength. This is the guy, yeah, he has decreased HP. Reduced against melees, which isn't that good. Well, I mean, we could fix it with armor. Alright, we're going to put him in there. So that's going to be our husband. Zalman Leftbridge. So they're going to make new babies called Blast Cappers. So basically what they are, they're ones that hit, but they could cause an explosion when they go to ram people. A new class, so we're going to create it. All right, so we got our first household, the Bets. And now we're just going to fast forward some years. And hopefully in five years we'll be able to make a new uh, hunter. One year, and we're set. It always feels weird accomplishing something without having beaten it into submission. Hmm. Should have seen my books after I was done with them. All right, so now... We definitely want to put a hunter here. No, by class, hunter. We want to put a hunter, high fertility. High fertility, and she's young. So, yes. We're going to put Christine there. Chances for baby super high. Well, she has high fertility, so moderate even though he has low fertility so do we want to put so we put a hunt so if you put a hunter you only get hunters you always want to kind of mix classes so you could get different things the problem is i think we only have one alchemist which kind of sucks now he's kind of old but he's getting to a point where he can't really fight. So this is going to give us trick shots, which I do like. So what we're going to do is we're going to allow her, we're going to allow this union. I know. She's 22. He's he's 41. I understand. I understand. But at his age, he can't fight. So the next thing would be, he's getting to an age where it's going to be harder for him to fight. As you get older, just like in real life, things deteriorate. Your sight isn't as good. Um, your health isn't as good. <laughs> you know, you don't recover as quickly <laughs> from things. So you kind of want to take him out of the battlefield. You want to make sure that your battlefield is filled with a lot of young fighters. Predatory practices, indeed. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, they're going to make they're going to make a lot of babies. So um, yeah, we're going to we're going to wish them luck, and we're going to do hmm. 
So Sage Right Guild will help us research quicker. Armors and all this other stuff. So I think the next thing we want to do is we probably want to get health potions. So now people can learn how to use health potions. And then we'll start looking at other things. So let's fast forward our timeline. The horns of birth. A cause for celebration indeed. Babies have been born before today. And it was glorious every time, was it not? What, unbearable shrieking and smells that are even worse? That's your idea of glorious. So as you can, as you can see, babies are born. They're known as trainees. They're bound to the keep, basically their household. Um, they're trained by basically the parents until they're 15. And then at that point, they could go to the capital for, for duties. So we had our first baby. Melody Betts, that's her name. She's brainy, which is good. She's got bare strength from her dad, intelligence from her mom. And out of personality, she doesn't have any any personality flaws yet. Yet. You can develop personality flaws. You can become drunks. It's a lot of stuff in life that could change you. But for right now, she has a lot of the best benefits from her parents, which is good. So good, good, good. So she'll get plus one dexterity. She'll also start off with two. And her intelligence is high. So not bad. Our first BB. Wow, we had a huge amount of drops in frames. I think we're good. Yeah, I don't see anything. But let me know if it starts to pause. Yeah, but we, yeah, we had a huge drop in frames. But let us continue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Inspect the timeline. We had a death. Mjordan Ashman has died at the age of 46. My goodness. That's not good. Okay. All right, so now we've learned health files. Steady hander, very good for hunters. Okay, cool. That's good, that's good to hear. Uh, so nine years we could get a sage right. I don't think we need to keep right now. We probably want to do weapons, but I want to get a sage right tower first. But then we need people to put into a sage right tower. <laughs> it wasn't him. It wasn't him. If it was him, they would have made us automatically go and look for uh, another husband, but it wasn't him. All right, so let's do it. Where do you want to build a sage tower? This is empty. Ooh, plus on research. Yeah, let's do that. That seems about well, right. Finally, some action. As you have no doubt. And yes, I see. Thank you, sir. I did see the frame. Every few years. Fortunately, you cannot fight back multiple incursions at the same time. Our primary focus is charging up to destroy our enemy, and we can only allot enough of our energy to send out one group of heroes at a time. Pawns don't last long outside of the Cadence, either. So even if you win one battle, it'll be too late to fight the other. Choose wisely and... Blow the horns! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. T-Beards. I did see the uh, frame rate drop again. Thank you very much, sir. So, we have two wars. So, if we go here, we get one and a half experience for each enemy killed. If we go to where research is, 
we get a 20 year old female hunter I think we're gonna go with the female hunter and not to mention